Hello and welcome back to Life Up. Um, I'm always happy to be sharing information with you. Today's information is for the nurses who want to work in UK. Nurses who want to work in UK. Um, if you follow this information and then you work hard, you have 99.9% percent chances of going to the uk to work as a nest yes i assured you that you have 99 percent chances so watch to the end um if you are watching this and you know any nurse who you you wish to share this information to please do well to share this information too and don't subscribe um don't forget to subscribe to this youtube family if you have not like and hit the notification button share for others to spread the good news to spread the good news so for nurses who want to go to the uk and work over there unlike the us and canada where you have to ride the enclave which is very difficult to get that because um the whole of africa it is only South Africa that you can ride the enclave. So it's very difficult to um, get it unless you have the financial means. Some do it if you have the financial means to go to South Africa or go to um, US or Canada to ride the enclave before you can get that certification to, um, to practice as a nurse in US and Canada. But for the UK, um there is a way that you can because they don't use enclave you can get your license and work at a nurse in the uk from your home country like you get your not the full certificate but you will be employed to work from your home country from your home country it's very simple it's very simple but it takes um yeah, it takes some energy, it takes some um, finances you have to pay because the first thing that you need to know is you have to write the IELTS English requirement that is um, mandatory. You have to write that. And then the IELTS, um, we have the IELTS UKVI, that, that is the one that you have to write. And then you have to have a band score of 6.5 to 7. So I encourage you to do well um, get above seven, get above seven for the IELTS. And one thing you should also note is that the IELTS um, expires in two years. So before you write the IELTS, make sure you have done all your necessary search, your necessary, like most of the thing you need to do so that your IELTS doesn't um, expires while you're still two years, you're still working on. So this is how it works for the nurses who want to go to the UK. There are so many hospitals that recruit international nurses. So the first thing is look out for those um, hospitals. And then they have test of competence that you have to take and then it is in two parts. It is in two parts. The first part is the um, computer-based test, which could be taken from anywhere in the world. So you can take that from your home country. And that is a multiple choice examination. And I guess it's just like the things you learned at your nursing training. That is the first one that you need to take and you could take that. And then the second part, that is the objective structured clinical examination. That is the practicals that you call it, as you call it, your practicals. And it's just like the practicals you did to receive your license in Ghana, Nigeria, wherever you received your license. But that one is taken in the UK. And even in the UK, they only have five centers that you could take that test. As of now, you only have five centers that you could take that test and this is how it works you have to take the computer based test you have to look for the um the hospital that will 
help you or like that will sponsor you. The hospital that will sponsor you. So if you have your aisles, they will, they will obviously have to have your aisles and then you have your CBT. Passed, you passed your CBT. I'll do a video on the CBT, the scores, how to register. I'll do a video on that later for you. But uh, let me know in the comment section if you want me to do that. Or else you can do that yourself, research that yourself. So if you, the hospital is going to hire you and then they are going to train you. And then from 12 weeks, from the time they hire you, you have 12 weeks to prepare. So they are going to prepare you for that exam. They are going to register you for that exam. And then if you pass that exam, then you get your license. But you know, in the first place, they've even hired you already and you've started working with them. They are training you to get your license. So I guess if you get there, um, even if you don't have to sleep for the 12 weeks to learn. But what I learned is it's just the normal nursing practice that you know. So with a little bit of confidence and then a little bit seriousness, it will be easy for you. It's not anything difficult. It will be easy for you. So that is how it works. That is how it works. So get your aisles. And then the alt, I talk of how the alt is expensive. I don't know the price now, but I know it could be getting to 3,000 Ghana cities because it's around 260 United States dollars. So that is it. Get your alt. Look for the school. Um, look for the hospital. There are a lot of hospitals that recruit international nurses. Talk to them. Name. If you get higher, they are going to train you to do the practical exams. And then you get your license to continue working. So this is very simple and easy, unlike the um, US and Canada one that is so much complicated. And then so much, you need so much money to do that. But this one, after you finish your computer-based, if you get your aisles, even some hospital might pick you after the aisles and then they see your credentials from your training, your nursing training, your experience, they may pick you, you do the computer base, they train you, you do your um, objective structured um, what is it, clinical mm -hmm. examination and then you are good to go. So this is an information I'm passing on to the nurses. So nurses, this is your chance to go to the UK. Maybe you've seen a lot of nurses moving to the UK, but you don't know how they went there. But I'm telling you, this is how they got that chance. This is how they got that chance. Um, if you want to know some of the hospital that employ or recruit international nurses, please, let me know, I will do a video on it for you to know and then reach out to them, apply, they may pick you, but you need to get the aisles that is compulsory. You need to get that first. So that is it. So thank you for staying with me to this time. This is for nurses. This is a chance for you to go to the UK. You see all those nurses moving to the UK. This is how they got there. Most of them, this is how they go there. So now I'm breaking that knot. I'm showing it to you. You can also do it. The IELTS is not that difficult, but an exams is an exams. You need to prepare for it. It's just the normal English exams that we do at the SHS. So those of you who read well, you, you may be able to pass it. So thank you. Share this video to all nurses. Let all nurses get to know this. And then put your comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video. Subscribe to my channel if you think what I'm doing is very important and is good for everybody. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.